Hello and welcome to the Philippines. Banana land, uh, apartments, standard rooms, and bungalows, cottages. Uh, my friend and I, on a recent visit to uh, uh, Panglao Island over on Bohol, Alona Beach area, uh, he thought he might be interested in uh, what a apartment would cost over here for a month or so. And uh, walking down the side streets, you'll come across all sorts of signs like that uh, for uh, housing and um, resorts. And uh, sometimes it's down one of these uh, narrow little lanes. And you can walk or you can uh, take a motorbike or a tricycle. They're all readily available out on the, the main side road. Depending upon your uh, lifestyle and your budget, you may be interested in some of this. Uh, these are some of the cottages here, and uh, then the main building is up past, uh, this is another set of cottages, and the main building is up past that. It is a bit more secluded, it's not right on the beach, uh, although it's not that far to get to the beach, and uh, I think it would be relatively quiet back here, except I think you will always find any place in the Philippines, you will find roosters making noise at odd hours of the morning and evening and the afternoon <laughs> I give you a drink oh a drink yeah that's what kind of tequila <laughs> or water Early. water Early. <laughs> juice or water huh? the owner is trying to bribe me with water or juice They have a pretty large uh, lobby area here, and it includes an area for uh, to serve serve uh, meals and that type of thing as well. And you'll find, as far as uh, rates, a lot of these places advertise Booking.com, and uh, there are other sites also that list here. But uh, anyway, you'll find the rates vary widely depending upon the season. The room we're looking at here is apartment uh, type, and it's uh, set up for quite a few people. And uh, there again, the rates will change by the season, so you just need to contact the people and or the booking.com type sites. And uh, large area, uh, number of beds. Okay, and uh, and and this these are apartments, twenty six thousand. Twenty twenty-five. There's, there's no uh, permanent price because we because um, it depends on the season. Oh, season. Because well, what is average this season? Well, how much this season? I don't know. How much today? Well, oh, you don't know. And we usually uh, recommend the other room for monthly than this room. And they have a uh, place, uh, kind of like a laundry room area here, uh, which is kind of nice if uh, you're the type that does your own laundry or you can take find a laundry down the street. And this is a pretty typical CR, a comfort room, toilet, bathroom area here in the Philippines. And you got a shower area, you do have a, a bar with a uh, shower curtain in there and you had a hot water heater in there as well i think that's five beds total and then there is a, a second cr comfort room as well laid out almost exactly the same as the other one there is some uh, refrigerator there and uh, not really a kitchen area you probably could do some basic cooking on a hot plate in there and here's a look at one of the cottages. Uh, it is without air conditioning, this particular one. Uh, and the price reflects that. I think they were, right now, they were asking about 15000 uh, a month for it. But I think it's negotiable. It has a bed upstairs, or two beds upstairs, and one bed downstairs. And they all have mosquito netting. Um, so kind of interesting layout. They have some basic cooking facilities here. 
What's upstairs? Another room? Uh, all in one. Mm. Yeah. Either one or two person. Uh -huh. already but there's a bed up there and a bed down it's, here? It's good for group. And there's another two. Good for two person. Okay, hot water heater. And this is how much? Fifteen thousand a month. Uh, yeah. Okay, a little sink, some kitchen, and the kitchen utensils come with it. Gas stove. And you pay extra for the gas. Yes. Is there a fan? Oh, there yes. it is. Electricity and water is included in that price uh, okay. because you're not running okay. air conditioning. Okay, up here? Another bed? Still bed. <laughs> oh, two big beds. Many resorts offer fan rooms only uh, instead of uh, air conditioning rooms, and the price uh, goes down because of that. You can get rooms for three, four, five hundred pesos a night, and uh, there are times when it cools down at night. A fan can be comfortable enough for some people. Uh, I prefer air con, but I could get by at times on a fair. Uh, with a fan uh, in my own place, I run the air conditioning a couple hours before I go to bed, and then I usually just run a fan at night, and primarily just for the noise, the white noise. It helps drown out the outside noise. 15,000 pesos a month is about 300 U.S. dollars. That's about 500 pesos a day or about $10 a day for this unit. And you could put one, two, three, four, you could put five or six people in there. Uh, or even more, so it's set up for a group. You, s you uh, spread that cost out, and it uh, would be very inexpensive now to stay the there. Here, what is it? here are the owners, Jeannie Rose and Asco and Stefan Straub, the email address and website. Uh, thank you for coming along. Here's a couple more units that they rent out. Uh, please like, subscribe, and please share the video. Safe travels to you all wherever you're at, and we'll see you next time.